from Bryson City. It's time for another art lesson. Uh, we'll be uh, without further ado. Here we go. Around to the paper. All right. So we're gonna start off. Mm. Sharpie's out too. I'll take this roller. Start off with a basic robot. So. Ruler. You're going to start off with the ruler. All right. So, first thing we want to do, I'm going to draw a square. Again. So, head. Body. Legs. Feet. I'm going to draw a line here and the line here, separate out. So we're going to put some arms on our robot. There's some arms. Lots of squares. Lots of squares. Robot needs a neck and robot needs the rest of his torso. All right, so for the legs, just some real quick lines. Like that. Basically draw some diamonds for his hands. There we go. Little squiggly lines like that. There's his hands. That sort of looks like an iron gold. Eyes. Mouth. And he needs some ears, so we'll put some antennas on the side here for ears. So for those antennas, just draw a line up and put a dot at the end of the line. That'll kind of work. <laughs> That's right. You can't draw a robot without a shout-out to the Beastie Boys. That is correct. Let's see. And then for the arms, I'm going to do the same thing for the legs. I'm going to draw little shoulders up here and then just some quick... Pull those out like this. And then for the chest. About two circles. And a cassette tape. So, and then we'll do a line, 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 line. And then he's got a little thing down here to read the cassette tape. Some buttons here, a button here, and maybe two buttons over here. There we go. And, oh, I almost forgot. For the feet, we'll just draw in some nice lines to make them look a little different. There you go. So there's our first robot. For our second robot, let's do something a little different. I'm going to put the sharp, big Sharpie away. I'm going to break out a pencil for this guy. So for this robot... Let's start off, um, for inspiration, let's start off with a household item. I'm looking around here real quick to see what I could find that's a pretty easy, straightforward. Um, I don't have a household item out here in the studio. I just have studio items. Ooh, wait. No, perfect. Household item for inspiration. Dun, dun, that can be chest. Multi plug, yes, that's right. Yeah, it can be the chest. You can so the let's turn it this way. Let's do this. So this is what I drew. Very cool. He got wheels and everything. Yeah, he's a Mario roller. Ooh, this so. is a fragile. No. Hi, so. Hi, so. That one's not household. All that's right. A plug in. So here's my multi-plug. I'm actually going to draw it a little, a little different. So I'm going to move that down. So up here for the head. We'll put a box for the head. Ooh, and we can add... Um, I like your idea with the wheels, so let's add some wheels. Let's put one wheel here, or circle here circle here and then we want to fill them and turn them into wheels center of the wheel 
and then there will be a suspension frame for all that, right? Chassis, as they say. I'm not a car person, but I'm a train person. So we'll draw some connectors like that up to the base here. The other wheels on the other side. Another wheel over here. And some tread on those wheels. All right. Um, need some arms. I think what we're going to do for arms is just some some flexible arms. And, and with the this arm, we'll put one of those like claw kind of situations again. Be straightforward. Over here off of this arm, we'll do, we'll do one that's jointed. Like that. And since these are flexible, we'll draw a bunch of little lines showing that they have segments or something that they bend with. Connect this this way and of course a neck. Maybe for his head, let's draw an old school TV set. So there'd be two little knobs here, maybe a bigger knob, bigger knob. And this is he's got a TV set for his face. He can have whatever face you want him to have. And we'll put an old school set of, of um, rabbit ears up here for his for antenna, antennae. Fix up his head a little bit. There we go. Some robots. Mm. Let's see. What do you have? A Let's... Electricity robot. Electricity robot. Very cool. Oh, his arm this chest. Yes, so they generate. And then this one has a tail that plugs into the back side of that robot. So then they all move in different directions. There you go. One of my favorite robots. I'm going to switch to a Sharpie for this. I don't know if you guys mentioned it before, but Lost in Space. They actually had a person in this robot outfit to make it operate. They had electricity in there. And a couple antennas on top here. Not exact. And this weird chest. Went down. And didn't have movable legs. And had this torso thing going on. And the legs went down and into a set of tracks. The robot from Lost in Space. He had flexible arms, and his arms were. I'm trying to remember if he had claws like that, or if he had something else going on. We're going to draw him with one claw, and then. Over here on the other side. We'll put a um, triangle on a hand like this. So, let's see, he's got knuckles and one for the thumb. Do 
She's got more of a hand. <laughs> Draw some additional lines and stuff. There's another one. Ooh. If you're going to talk about robots, can't forget about this guy either. Make sure I draw this right. Probably not exactly right. Anybody knows who's watching? Anybody knows who this guy is? You just go ahead and type it in the comments there. Probably one of the more famous robots out there. <gasps> Don't say it. Mm -mm. I know you figured out who it is. <laughs> mom, 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 mom. I want to say it so bad. How about when you finish drawing, I'll say it. Yeah, if nobody's put in comments here while, they're, while I'm drawing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> R2-D2. Michael Hansen got it. Well, got it right. Like I said, not exact, but... Hey, and who knew in 1970-whatever, 80-whatever, that, you know, the little things in the side of his legs were actually rockets? I mean, come on. It's fun. It's like, come on, George. You could have told us that, like... Yeah, you could always have a long time ago. Wait until the early 2000s to put rockets on the tube, too. What kind of garbage is that? <laughs> Fill him in here. There's the other one back over here. <clears throat> so, as you draw your robots, feel free to draw, add, Anything you want. What in the world you got going on That's, over there? It's the mouth for mouse gears, a robot game. Really? Yeah. That's kind of scary looking. It is a scary game. <laughs> I wish it can be a strange thing. Because everything on strange is scary. Can I have those colored pencils over there, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> colored pencils. I remember how he looks from the game. I might do a like team version. Let's see Actually, what else no, we got. Actually, no, I might do the Stranger Things version. I'm going to have to use my hand. <laughs> okay, get this pencil. Can you open this up? I can't open yeah, it. Yeah, it's sealed up. <laughs> okay, I can't get it. I just like pull and pull. We've been cleaning out the studio. And we found brand new colored pencils. With, look, one of those kawaii characters on the front there. And Very with cool. a butterfly on top. I don't know about that. I think you, I think you added that. I made it. Colored pencils. There you go. Some other robot ideas. I'm switching markers again. Um, you can draw robot hands. And they have the, the pauldron. Back to the wrist. And you can draw them with some knuckles like that. And then you could draw either fingers that are jointed. Or you could draw fingers that have uh, another joint in between. Or they could be hands. DeWalt router, router, sorry, for a robot. Yes, um, any of your power tools could be used as inspiration for a robot. And robot hands, you can have all sorts of different, like some raised up features here like that, or even a little... Um, little access panel here, a little knob. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Ooh, I almost forgot one robot. Let's see here. I can draw this guy. Probably gonna mess him up too. I'm trying to remember. How was it his eyes go? It's like this, isn't it? What's the name of the robot? Yeah, what's the name of the robot? What's his name? Yeah. It's Bender from Futurama. Oh. Yeah, his eyes are like that. I love that show. Even though it's funny. And he has uh, flexible legs and flexible arms as well. So. <laughs> Probably not exact, but close enough. Sort of like Bender, maybe not. <laughs> maybe more rough and scary. And of course, you can also draw. There's other kinds of robots you can draw out there too. I used to get in trouble all the time at while I was at Whittier Elementary for drawing this robot because I draw him a lot. Again, here's another one. Darth Vader? You, nope, if you know who this is. Mandalorian? No, not the Mandalorian. Mandalorian's not a robot. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like a human. Mm, sort of based off of a human. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Boba Fett? No. Is it from Star Wars? No, he's not from Star Wars. Oh. Uh, I have to think. I gotta think. I think. I think. Myself. I don't know. Transformers. Yes. No, I saw when I saw that. Is it uh, Optimus Prime? Why is it Optimus Prime? Very good. I know my, I know my Transformers, because I love the ride in Universal. In Florida, the ride's better in Florida. Yeah, do you like the Transformer ride at Universal? Oh, I, I, I do. It's just too bad I can only ride it about once every, every thousand time. years because it makes me motion sick. <laughs> I love it. I wa the f longest time I've rode it. Well, the... the um, well, so you rode it three times? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when I got the fast passes last, week, last time, I rode it seven times. And then we rode Fast and Furious. Mouse gears. The mouse gear thing. Transformers. Optimus Transformers, Prime. yeah. And you can have a picture at Universal Studios just Optimus so, Prime. All sorts of all sorts of different kind of robots. And then of course you got your um Simpsons. <clears throat> who was it? Um technically speaking, uh the Tin Man from um Wizard of Oz. Tin Can Man. Yeah, the Tin Man. Tin Can Man. 
I think you might need this. He's technically a, a robot. You might need that. Not really in his life, but yeah, you could you could make a case that he's that he's um he's right. him off there, make him look a little, a little, a little heavier. There we go. So, we've got Tin Man, technically. Bender, Transformers, Lost in Space, R2-D2, Old School Robots. Um, um, any you think of? I mean, right off, I can think of a couple of some movies, but you know, I'll be careful with that. But, um, uh, Love, I would love to see whatever robots you guys come up with. So please, please, please post a picture in the drawing, in the, of your drawing in the comments. Um, also, any suggestions for future classes, please post those in the comments as well. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, make lots of art. Stay home. Stay safe. Uh, love on each other, your family members. Reach out to your family members that are far away. Give them a virtual hug. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye.